Exorcism in Islam is called Rukya Sharia Arabic, Urkut Shrite IPA, Rukya Sharia, and is thought to repair damage believed caused by jinn possession witchcraft or the evil eye. Exorcisms today are part of a wider body of contemporary Islamic alternative medicine called Al-Tib Al-Nabawi Medicine of the Prophet. Islamic religious context Belief in jinns, and other supernatural beings, is widespread in the Islamic world. Jinn is an Arabic collective noun deriving from the Semitic root jnn Arabic, John June Jan, whose primary meaning is, to hide. Some authors interpret the word to mean, literally, beings that are concealed from the senses. Such creatures are believed to inhabit desolate, dingy, dark places where they are feared. Jinn exist invisibly amongst humans, only detectable with the sixth sense. The jinn are subtle creatures created from smokeless fire, fire and air thought to be able to possess animate and inanimate objects. Unlike demons, they are not necessarily evil, but own a capacity of free will. Topic. Reasons for possession Possession is not caused by Satan, who is said to be just a tempter, whispering evil suggestions into humans' heart, but, even though not mentioned in canonical scriptures, according to folklore by jinn, who can enter a human body physically or hunting them mentally. A possession by a jinn can happen for various reasons. Ibn Taymiyyah explained a jinn could sometimes hunt an individual, because the person could even unintentionally harm the jinn, urinating or throwing hot water on it, or even killing a related jinn without even realizing it. In this case the jinn will try to take revenge on the person. Another cause for jinn possession is when a jinn falls in love with a human and thereupon the jinn possesses the human. Some women have told of their experiences with jinn possession, where the jinn tried to have sexual interaction from inside their bodies. Thirdly, it occurs when a jinn is evil and simply wants to harm a human for no specific reason, it will possess that person, if it gets the opportunity, while the human is in a very emotional state or unconsciousness. Jinn may also hunt someone in service of a sorcerer. Topic. Signs of possession In Islamic belief, there are different signs of possession for example Procrastination in doing good acts or praying Constant laziness Recurring aggression Loss of senses while awake Constant headaches Recurring nightmares Laughing while asleep Sleepwalking in case of a complete control by the jinn, the possessed surrender to the jinn and the person's consciousness is subverted by it. Such a jinn is indeed absolutely evil and thereupon the acts of the person are going to be evil as well. The person will obey the commands of the jinn at any time. In a constant possession. The person will not act without a command by the jinn. According to reports of individuals who have claimed to be possessed, they've asserted that during the jinn possession their spiritual abilities, like the sixth sense, had increased. Possession can also cause physical damage, such as inexplicable bruising or marks appearing spontaneously. Topic. Procedure Recited formulas, referred to as rukya are used to expel the jinn from the body. Majority of rukya are either charms or spells that are uttered or written. Nushra refers to charms or amulets that are used. In a typical Islamic exorcism the treated person lies down while a white-gloved therapist places a hand on their head while reciting verses from the Quran. Specific verses from the Quran are recited, which glorify God e.g. the throne verse Arabic, eight al al -kursi and invoke his help. In some cases the Adhan call for daily prayers is also read, believed to have the effect of repelling non-angelic unseen beings or the jinn. The Islamic prophet Muhammad taught his followers to read the last three surahs from the Quran, Surat al-Iqlas the fidelity, Surat al-Falaq the dawn, and Surat an-Nas mankind. A common healing practice in classical Islam used music to cure mental illnesses, related to jinn possession. Topic. Islamic exorcists Those who are permitted to perform exorcisms typically have other careers but possess the ability to exorcise. Topic. Exorcism and Islamic law Prohibited techniques often utilize shirk, which is found in practices that prepare amulets or talismans. 
This is prohibited because shirk is the sin of practicing idolatry or polytheism i.e. the deification or worship of anyone or anything besides the singular God. Many times Quranic verses are added throughout the recitation when using these objects in order to mask their shirk. However, God believes he has provided sufficient cures in executing an exorcism, therefore exorcists should not have to rely on methods involving shirk. Additionally, individuals seeking exorcism should avoid magicians or soothsayers because these magical practices go against Islamic law. <laughs> Hadith of the 70,000 who do not ask for rukya and will not be brought to account A hadith recorded in Sahih al-Bukhari, 8, 76-479 states, 70,000 people of my followers will enter paradise without accounts, and they are those who do not practice our rukya and do not see an evil omen in things, and put their trust in their Lord." Ibn Qayyim al-Jaziyah, a scholar, commented on this hadith, stating, that is because these people will enter paradise without being called to account because of the perfection of their tawhid, therefore he described them as people who did not ask others to perform rukya for them. Hence he said, and they put their trust in their Lord. Because of their complete trust in their Lord, their contentment with Him, their faith in Him, their being pleased with Him and their seeking their needs from Him, they do not ask people for anything, be it rukya or anything else, and they are not influenced by omens and superstitions that could prevent them from doing what they want to do, because superstition detracts from and weakens Tawhid. See also Devil Jinn Demonic possession References External links Rukya treatment Rukya treatment for evil eye How to become a Rakhi